I'm Tord Kellstrom, and I'm an expert on the effects of climate change on health, and particularly how it affects uh, working people. And this is what uh, I'll talk about in this short presentation, and the implications for policy development. This first slide shows the heat levels around the world at the hottest month of each the year, and it has three time zone, or three times on it, 1995, 2085, and 2200. This is based on the maps and the uh, uh, models that the um, meteorologists have developed for us. And as you can see, the heat levels are spreading and getting higher and higher. The next slide shows an example of workers that are at risk, and these are construction workers in India who are uh, then uh, carrying material up to the roof of a building and um, whose health is um, at risk because of the very high temperatures in the hot part of the year. And in fact, they can't work during the hottest months in the afternoons because um, it's too hot for them to physically carry out work. And the link between this health risk and the heat exposure is very well known from our physiological research over many, many, many years. The next slide shows another category of workers which are really at risk also for heat stress and the health effects uh, of uh, heat. And these are the people in the factory in Vietnam that makes, uh, who make shoes and uh, they have very hot temperatures indoors in the summer period and they're cooler in the winter and these 2,900 young women have to work an additional two hours every day in the hot part of the year because the uh, target for the daily production is the same but they cannot actually keep up the work. So uh, this will reduce the productivity and the next slide shows the international standard which is based on the best possible available physiological knowledge and is intended to protect workers from this heat effect, which means that um, uh, it limits the number of minutes per hour that you're actually allowed to work at hot levels. And as you can see, the number of minutes that you can work reduces quite rapidly within a narrow range. So within a two degree change of this uh, heat stress index level, we uh, get a half, uh, halving of the um, work capacity and the productivity. So this problem <coughs> has not been given, I think, enough attention in much of the analysis of the climate change problems and it's very important that policies are developed because the next slide shows that there are enormous potential costs involved where in this calculation, which is the only one which has made such estimates for the whole world, shows that there are billions of US dollars lost because of the extra heat in the hot part of the year and the number of hours that are lost because workers cannot possibly continue working at these hot levels. So if we look at the future, the next slide indicates the uh, curves for the average global temperature, how is it expected to go up as uh, <coughs> climate change progresses. And there are four different models and uh, you find them, I'm sure, in the various documents about climate change. And the top curve shows the uh, uh, levels of increase of temperature that will uh, happen in so-called business as usual uh, priorities or strategies whereas the other three curves uh, are uh, changed to lower levels because um, policies and actions have been implemented that reduce the heat increase. But the most interesting thing in this uh, graphic may be that it shows uh, a child, the period that a child born now in 2015 will actually live, and this child will be alive in 2100. And that child's child will be alive in 2130, etc. And the grandchild of that um, <coughs> second uh, child 
will still be alive at the end of the next century, which means that we really should consider actions now to reduce the problem of greenhouse gases and the climate change that um, they bring. As an extra uh, argument for doing something, I'll show you the next uh, map of the world which shows the most extreme heat risks in all parts of the world if we are not carrying out new policies and actions to limit climate change. And as you can see, in very large parts of the world and many countries, people actually will die just sitting outside in a chair under a tree because it gets so hot that their body temperature goes up to levels that will kill them. It's terrible. And we have to prevent this. The next slide shows the front page of the website that we have developed in my little team. And uh, it's available free of charge on the uh, internet. And you can actually get local data for your own country or your own city on the current situation for climate change, what's happening now, and what's going to happen until the end of this century. So these slides have shown a very important problem, a challenge, and it's extremely important that uh, the policies and the actual actions and strategies for action that will be developed at the uh, COP21 in Paris and beyond in other meetings uh, will pick up this problem of how working people are affected by the increasing heat. It's extremely important and uh, I thank you for listening to this presentation and uh, say goodbye.